In this video, we're going to talk about parcel label styles, how to modify existing parcel label styles, and how to create a new parcel label style for our civil 3D project. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to navigate to the settings tab in the tool space window. I'm going to drop down parcels. I'm going to go to label styles. And there are three types of label styles inside Civil 3D for parcels. There are areas label styles, line label styles, and curve label styles. The method to modify and create new label styles are the same across all of all three of these label styles. It's just the information inside of those labels is different. We're going to be dealing with area label styles in this video. So what we're going to go ahead and do is drop down on the areas folder for the label styles. And what you can see here is we have two label styles that are currently being used in the drawing, which is signified by the gold triangle in the upper corner. If you wanted to edit either of these or edit one that we haven't used yet, what you can do is select that label style, right click and choose edit. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna create a new label style that has a little bit more information than any of the label styles that are available in the drawing right now. So what happens if you create a new one, you would go ahead and click on area and right click and create new. But what I know is all of these label styles are currently being displayed the way that I want them to be displayed in my drawing. They just don't have enough of the information that I want. So I want to start off with the base information inside of one of these label styles already, and then I'm going to modify it and create a new version, but I don't want to change the existing one that's in the drawing. So the way I'm going to do that is by copying a label style. And you can copy a label style by selecting a label that you want to copy and use that as your basis. And then you can select copy instead of edit. So I'm going to copy it. And now you see in the name, it says parcel name copy. What I'm going to go ahead and do is add parcel name. I'm going to say dash square feet dash acreage dash perimeter. I'm going to delete out my description and then I'm going to move on to the general tab because I know that this displays the way I want it to. I'm not going to modify any of these items, but what you could do if you wanted to is modify your text style, your label visibility, your layer that your text is going to be displayed on the orientation or behavior of your text, whether or not it's readable, what the bias for that readability is and whether or not you want to flip your anchors based on that readability. So next we're going to move on to layout tab. Oftentimes inside of area labels, you're only going to have one component and you're just going to stack all your text together in line and curve settings or for label styles for lines and curves, you may have multiple components. And what you can do to add a component if you wanted to is you drop down on this, uh, you choose add text or add a line or add a block, and that will be a new component that's added to your label. For this label style, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as just a single component, and then I'm going to move down through this. And so what we have here is we have what the name of this is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and change it so that it says number square feet, acre, perimeter. And then I'm going to move down. So we have visibility true. Anchor component is the feature so that the actual parcel is the, is the feature that we're labeling. So that's our anchor. Um, if you had other components, then those components would show up inside of this. So if we added some text, that new text component would show up in this line here. Then you have your anchor point. And so you can have label location or you can have, if you're anchoring to a component, where you're gonna anchor on that component. So now we move on to the contents. We are going to go ahead and modify this. We know we want to have the name of the parcel, but we also want to have some other information. So we're going to go ahead and type area down here with the colon, and then we're going to go ahead and drop down into here, choose parcel area, select square feet, and hit the arrow over to populate that information. And then I'm going to make sure that the numbers that show up with that area, we know is square feet. So I'm going to try type SQFT for square feet, and then I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to choose parcel area again. I'm going to drop down and I'm going to choose acreage and I'm going to hit the arrow over to populate acreage and I'm going to hit AC for acreage and then I'm going to hit enter again. I'm going to type in perimeter and I am going to give a colon and a space and then I will drop down in here and choose parcel perimeter. I'm going to have it as feet. I'm going to hit the arrow to populate it across into the window and then I'm going to give it a foot symbol signifier. 
and then I'm going to jump over into my format tab. So the format tab is how the te you can choose your text style here. You can choose justification, uh, your color, and that kind of information. So what I want to do is I want to have this all be right justified. So I'm going to go ahead and select right, and then I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to hit apply and hit OK. So if you wanted to, you could now apply this to your drawing by going up to annotate, add labels, parcel, add parcel labels, and you could choose replace area, choose the area label that you want, which is our parcel name, square feet, acreage, perimeter. And then you could choose add and then pick on the parcel that you want to change. Or what you can do is you can navigate to where your parcel is. So I know it's in sites. I know it's in development. I know it's in parcels. I know I want to change park one. Uh, so I can right click on that and choose properties. And then under the composition tab, you can drop down and select the type of area label you want. So I'm gonna do parcel name, square footage, acreage, perimeter, and I'm gonna hit apply and hit okay. And what you'll see when I zoom in on this park now is I have the name, the area in square feet, the area in acreage, and the perimeter in feet.